Hey yo, yellow, yellow pal fathers who are hold the harders, bun sperm down around ya. Me yellow pal the genuine fathers. Over the years they hear me bigging up the mothers. But right I know it's about the hard working fathers. Holding down the family like soldiers on the borders. Well, some are carpenter and some are farmers. Some are police and teachers, some are them are warders. But me say all of them are hard working fathers. Holding down the family like soldiers on the borders. Hey yo, yellow, you know. Yellow. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just representing right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right. Y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what uh, go on? A blessed and wonderful uh, Sunday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So, in the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public, and also members of the diaspora. So, please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so we can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So today is also Sunday, a day of divine worship for some of the ones and ones them. So while traversing the church, please remember on the Spot News Media, it's loyal viewers and subscribers in your immediate prayers. You definitely see how Jamaica runs, so you know for sure. So we need that now more than ever. And to all of the ones and ones them out there celebrating Father's Day, today is a day when the daddy them sit back and relax, put up them foot for a change, and have the kids, and of course the wives, the mommies out there definitely giving daddy a special day. So happy Father's Day to all the wonderful fathers out there. Have a blessed and wonderful morning. Yeah, man. So we're going to kick it off this morning over there in the troubled, war-torn, crime-riddled Kingston Western Police Division, where detectives assigned to the Kingston West Criminal Investigation Branch have named a man who is wanted for a knockings and clappings that resulted in the last life of a man committed in their division. The man in question is said to be known as Neil Williams, otherwise known as Clickbean in the streets. Now, Clickbean is from a phase 5 address in the Havana community of Arnett Gardens. He is wanted for the knockings and clappings that resulted in the last life of a man identified as Damien Green, which was committed on the 1st of June in his community. Now, Neil Williams, otherwise known as Clickbean, you are being asked by the police to turn yourself over to the Denham Town CIB with immediate effect. And anyone with any information surrounding the whereabouts of this old dirty corner boy known as Clickbean is being asked to contact the Denham Town CIB at 876-948-6443 or police emergency number. 119. Yeah, man. Click bean. You are wanted. Now we are going to make a step over there in the Clarendon Police Division where a wanted man and several persons of interest were arrested during a major police military operation in Clarendon on Friday. Deputy Superintendent Kerry Duncan, Operations Officer for Era Tree Police, stated that the wanted man is wanted in another jurisdiction. He was traveling in a private motor car with a child and a woman. So we're going to hear from the Deputy Superintendent right now as he weighs in on that operation. Listen. Uh, the person that we held who we know is wanted in another jurisdiction was traveling in a private motor vehicle. It just goes to show that persons will find their ingenious ways of traversing this space because generally how um, he was traveling um, with a child and a female would want to throw us off but that is not um, what we operate. Definitely we look at what is and what entails and we treat them as such. So the tangibles that we have today, we have detected breaches of the Firearms Act, the Dangerous Drugs Act and we have also um, have in our custody a person who is 
wanted in another jurisdiction. We have also apprehended some other persons we believe are persons of interest um, that will be interviewed. That was the voice of Deputy Superintendent Kerry Duncan, Operations Officer of the Era Tree Police. No, that wanted man in question is said to be, well, let me rephrase, it is alleged that the wanted man is this man presently on your screen. So for those who is from 41 Rosites in Montego Bay, I'm pretty sure you recognize who this person is. I'm sure that he's not looking exactly the same anymore because I don't know them dirty kind of boy they do it. This minute them bleach, next minute them black, one minute them year long, next minute them year short. So who knows, Raymond Bossed just may be looking a little bit different from this particular picture. But Raymond Bossed nonetheless. It is alleged that Raymond was deported from Barbados. Raymond did not make it into the United States as some would have thought and suggested. This criminal element here is one of the most dangerous and ruthless criminals that hails from 41 Rosites in Montego Bay, St. James and also reps for the squash faction of the Six Camp. This brother is also the cousin of Jareem Shelton, otherwise known in the criminal underworld as J-Man. So J-Man, Rayman, Fredman, the three man them, dangerous, ruthless criminals. So J-Man Bossed, definitely no stranger to 41 Rosites, no stranger to the police in St. James, and most definitely not a stranger to On The Spot News Media, as he has been featured on On The Spot News Media over two years ago. So this criminal element here has been lurking under the shadows for quite some time, and finally caught by the long arms of the law. But on the spot, news media will most definitely make confirmation without a shadow of a doubt and bring it forward to you again in a subsequent newscast. Yeah, man. So anyway, my peeps, make we continue. Now over there in Manig, Sentan, boy, I tell you, my peeps, the thing really rough out a jan shop there as a woman was found lifeless on her side with pants down and her female parts molested boy and then with all of what i just said the criminal elements took the woman's life now on your screen is the woman in question she has since been identified as 48 year old novelette chambers otherwise known as mitzina the streets She's unemployed and from a Clapham address in Monique St. Anne. The police report suggests that sometime around 6.23 a.m., Mitzi was found by residents behind an abandoned building in the community, half naked. It is said that her head was also bashed in. I don't know why these old dirty kind of boy, the old nasty criminal elements, them, were coming like an a woman give them birth, they come like a back of cow, some of them dirty boy, a barn, have to deal with the people them in such a type of way. Imagine a hold on and take a rapeable type of business go on with the woman, and you still have to take the woman life. It is enough that you did all of that to her and she would have had to live with that trauma but she would have been living nonetheless taking a person's life after such a wicked and brutal act poor me i tell you what kind of heart someone to have Jano star jamaica we lost it we have lost it now over there in the parish of St. James, the community of Lilliput, may I tell you, more knockings and clappings, more weeping and moaning and gnashing of teeth. An elderly dressmaker and a man was fatally taken out by criminal elements at the woman's home in Lilliput, St. James on a Thursday. 
the woman in question is said to be identified as this woman presently on your screen, 63-year-old Vernice Blackwood, and a 28-year-old man said to be known as Romario Broomfield, a music producer both of Randall Hill in Lilliput, St. James. So reports from the Baritone Police suggest that sometime shortly after 6 o'clock, Miss Blackwood and Mr. Broomfield was at the woman's home when armed criminal elements stepped into their yard. It is said that the men opened fire, hitting Venice Blackwood all over her body while she was sitting on her veranda. Then the men walked inside the house and opened gunfire, hitting the music producer Romario Broomfield all over his body. The woman's son, who is friends with Broomfield, managed to escape injuries. It is said that the criminal elements who committed that atrocity fled the scene into the era on foot. The police investigators who arrived at the scene discovered the victims laying in blood and suffering from multiple gunshot wounds all over their upper bodies and head. They were transported to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where they were pronounced, you know what, May I tell him, my peeps, over there in St. James, Poa is a force to be reckoned with. And still in the parish of St. James, a 17-year-old male was taken out in a hail of bullets by unknown assailants at his home in Green Pond in St. James. All of this took place on Saturday, June 17th. He has since been identified as Daniel Sawyers, otherwise known as Butty, or Seal in the streets. Reports from the Montego Bay Police suggest that sometime around 2 a.m., armed criminal elements invaded Sawyers' home. They reportedly took him from the house and opened gunfire, hitting him multiple times. The police was summoned and Sawyers was found in the yard with a portion to can up can up wounds all over his upper body and head. He was however transported to the hospital where he was pronounced you know what? Yeah man. No, this one definitely needs to be checked out by on the spot news media. We need to find out who is this 17 year old youth known as Daniel Sayers or Butting at the streets. Why the man them would have got take him out time house and slap him away. Bilious like that. We just give thanks that they took him from the house and did not hurt anyone else inside that house. There has to be a serious reason behind this type of knockings and clappings. And on the spot news media most definitely will find out and bring it to you, the regular members of Chan Public and members of the diaspora in subsequent newscast. So over there in the parish of Westmoreland, another murderous parish nonetheless, a man and a woman end up get can up losing them three pints by armed criminal elements at their home in Froome, Westmoreland on Friday. The victims have since been identified as 20-year-old Vivian Brown and 51-year-old Michael Johns, both of Prospect District in Westmoreland. The Frome police suggest that sometime around 4 p.m., Johns and Brown, who were in a common law relationship, was at their house in Bolt District when armed criminal elements forced their way into their premises. It is said that the criminal elements went into the house and opened gunfire, hitting both victims before escaping. The police were summoned and Johns was discovered lifeless at the scene. Whilst the woman was rushed to the hospital in a bid to save her life, she was in critical condition but later succumbed to injuries received. That type of knockings and clappings definitely is being investigated by the era one police. So my peeps, another brutal slaying of a couple. It seems to be a lot of double knockings and clappings being recorded in the western section of our island. So my peeps, just be safe and as always, safe travel, pan the gravel, continuously look out on a corner yai kazwa, the old dirty corner boy them.
always out there. Alerts. Yeah, man. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.